Now, one of the questions uh, answer that was submitted earlier, the person asked this. Now, why does Jesus tell those who he has healed to spread the news? And at other times, he tells them not to spread the news. Okay? Do you understand the question? Sometimes when Jesus does a miracle, heals someone, he says, go and tell people. Then at other times, he say, don't tell people. Don't tell people. So the person asks, now, why is this so? Why different cases? Why? Okay, so who wants to try to answer? Grace. Yes. Because um, when Jesus says don't tell people, it's when he is going to die soon. Ah, Jesus tell, told them not to tell some people because he was going to die soon. Um, not so much that. He did tell people, well, don't tell people that I'm going to die because um, it was not time yet. So that's a different thing, right? About his own, his own crucifixion and when he started the ministry, he did tell people, don't tell anyone yet until the time is ripe. Okay? But this is about healing. Healing. Curing people. Why do you think so? Phoebe, why? Why do you think so? Sometimes Jesus, after healing, say, go tell people. And another time say, don't tell anyone. Why, Phoebe? Do you know? Don't know. Believe. Okay. Is it because when he healed on the Sabbath day, he did not want the Pharisees to know? No, not that occasion. Right? Is it wrong to heal on Sabbath day, Elim? Is it wrong to heal? Was it wrong of Jesus to heal people on the Sabbath day? Is it wrong for you to go see doctor on Sunday? <laughs> Alright, you fall down and you hurt yourself. Is it wrong for you to go see doctor on, on Sunday? No. It is not wrong for you to see doctor on Sunday. But is it wrong for the doctors to see you on Sunday? <laughs> is it wrong? Not sure. Not sure. Now, it is not that occasion as well. Um, so let's read, look, look at these occasions. Now let's turn to Mark chapter 5. Uh, sorry. Uh, Mark, ch okay, Mark chapter 5, verse 19. Mark 5, 19. Alright, Mark 5, 19. By the way, it's nothing wrong for Jesus to heal on the Sabbath day, alright? It's nothing wrong. The Lord says that Sabbath is made for men, that is work, those are works of mercy. We'll talk about it after. Now, Matthew chapter 5, sorry, Mark chapter 5, verse 19. Mark chapter 5, verse 19. I'm sorry, I'm behind. Okay, 1, 2, 3, reading. Okay, Mark 5, 19 says, Now after the Lord healed this man, cast out the demon, then the Lord says that go and tell your friends, right? Go and tell your friends. So this time the Lord says go and tell your friends. Now, let's turn to... Um, an example where he tells them not to tell other people. Mark chapter 7. Right? So if you're reading the Bible, then eh, two chapters later, Jesus says no. Mark chapter 7, verse 36. Okay, so Noah, you share the Bible with Arthur, right? Mark chapter 7, verse 36. One, two, reading. And he charged them that they should not tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much more a great deal they published. Now here, now here the Lord healed. And yet, he says, don't tell anybody. But then the people went ahead and tell people. And then a lot of people knew. Okay, so why? Jennifer, why? Why sometimes tell, sometimes don't tell? Veronica, you want to help your sister? 
You don't want to help your sister. Okay. <laughs> Anna, why? Anyone knows? You can put up your hand. One, two, three. Okay, no one racing to know. All right, so now. Okay, maybe the adults. Why? Uh, Justin, why? Oh, what? so the possible answer is he told them already, tell them. After they know already, no need to tell them anymore. Is that, is that it? Okay? Now, let's, let's look at the Lord's answers to some of this. Um, now, let us turn to Luke chapter 4, verse 42. Luke chapter 4, verse 42. Luke chapter 4, verse... Okay, verse 42. Okay, let's read from verse 41 and to 41, 41 to 43. 1 to 3 reading. And devils also came out of many, crying and saying... Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. And when it was day, he departed and went into a des desert place. And the people sought him, and came unto him, and stayed him, and that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. Okay? So, Hazel, why do you think the Lord did not want people to know? Based on these verses. They are affecting His ministry. Okay, why are you all looking there? All right, do you know what it means? What does it mean? Gracia. Gracia? Gracia. How do you pronounce your name? Because I'm pronouncing it like, like Spanish. Gracia, alright, Gracia. Do you know what it means when the Lord says, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also? Do you know what it means? What is happening? You look at your Bible. You know, the people, verse 42, right? He went to a quiet place, and people still went there and looked for him. And then they stayed him, means they said, Don't go away, don't go away. Right? Um, and then Jesus said, I must go to preach at other cities. So why do you think sometimes Jesus tells them not to tell people? Because he had to go to elsewhere to preach the gospel also, right? Right? Alright, so sometimes the Lord did not want it because they began to affect the work that he came to do. They say, say therefore I am sent. I am sent to go around to different places. But the moment they saw that he performed miracles... And then they benefited physically. They only wanted him to themselves. Don't go away, don't go away. A lot of people, many of us, can you just heal us? Don't go to other cities. But the Lord said, I came to preach to other people too. Veronica, can you understand? Alright, so, so that is one of the reasons. Now, other reasons, for example, you see furthermore, like Mark chapter 1 verse 44. Mark chapter 1 verse 44. Mark chapter 1, verse 44. So the Lord gave us the answer earlier on. Um, okay, verse 44 and 45. You see what happened? Now, verse, maybe verse 40. Um, okay, verse 44 and 45. Let's read together. And saith unto him, See thou, say nothing to any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest. And offer thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But he went out and began to publish it much, 
and to blaze abroad the matter, insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but was without in desert places. And okay, so now this in this situation, what happened? All right, Isaac and uh, Isaac and Matthew and Grace and so on. So Jesus, after he healed, he told the man. Don't tell anybody because Jesus already knew what was going to happen. But the person went out and the person went out and told all the people. And then what does the Bible say? He ended up in verse forty-five. The person went and told a lot of people, in so much that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city. So there are cities, all right? There are cities. I don't know how to draw cities. Huh? Pretend cities are like that. Then with the gate, okay? There are cities, and then there are different cities elsewhere. Okay, different cities elsewhere, but because this man went around and told people, and then the word spread, spread, spread to other cities, what happened? Even Jesus want to go in cannot because lots of people just crowd, 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 crowd. Either don't let him out or don't let him in. Where did Jesus go, Anna? Where did Jesus go? To he have to go to deserted places. He came to preach the gospel to the people. Alright? So that is one of the reasons that he gave himself. That it began to affect the reason why he came to preach the gospel. Okay? Now, but there are times, indeed, that he did tell them. Wait. Um, now, let's, let's read some more huh, so we understand. And then I, there's a lesson to learn. Now, turn to John chapter 6. Or John chapter 2. John chapter 2. Alright, John chapter 2. What happened to Arthur? What happened to Arthur? Oh, it's, oh okay, okay. Uh, John chapter 2, verse 24. John chapter 2. Verse 24. 24 and 25, all right? So now, okay, so this is the one that I think Grace, you mentioned. Jesus says, I'm, I'm going to destroy, I'm going to die. Or destroy, this body will be destroyed and raised three days. Now, let's read verse 24 and 25 together. Um, okay, reading, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. And needed not that any should testify of men, for he knew what was in men. What does it mean? The Bible tells us that Jesus, Jesus knew all men and what was in the heart of all men. What was in the heart of all men? What does it mean? What was in the heart of all men? Jesus knew why what men's hearts were thinking. Okay. So Jesus says, even you go and tell a lot of people, I know what is in their heart. Now, what is in their heart? Let's turn to chapter 6, verse 26. Chapter 6, verse 26. Now, this is the occasion where the Lord just fed the 5,000 people. All right? But the people after that, they keep following Jesus. After Jesus fed them, then lots of people follow him. Isn't it good? Good or not? Not good. Why not good? Why not good? Who say not good? Oh, very fast. She. <laughs> Why not good, Maggie? They, they what? They, they, did, they didn't believe. Okay. Uh, now. Jesus knew what was in the heart of man, and this is where he talks about it. Chapter, um, chapter 6, verse 26. Shall we read together? The people came to look for him. All right, verse 25 and 26, reading. And they had found, when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? And Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye should me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled, right? So Jesus knew the heart of man. They looked for him because of, because of what? Phoebe, because of what? 
What did they look for Jesus? What did you read? What did they look for Jesus? Because they look for Jesus for food, very good. Their stomach, they just look for Jesus for food, that's all. Now isn't it nice? Huh? To the people. Say, well, every day, I don't have to work forever, you know. As long as I follow Jesus, He may keep feeding me for food. Right? He keep feeding me with food. So I don't have to worry. So Jesus says they were looking for Him, uh, like Phoebe rightly pointed out, just for food. That's all. That is all. Do we need food? Do we need food? We need food. So, should we look for food? We should. But Jesus says, don't look for food. So, should you stop eating food? Caleb. Hey, Cornelius. What did Jesus mean? Don't seek food. What? Don't be obsessed with food. <laughs> Who loves food? Who loves sweets? Who loves McDonald's? Right? Yeah, yeah, all right, okay. Yes, yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't be obsessed with food. Correct. Gluttony is sin. Now, they, now, look at verse 27. Let's read verse 27. Labor not. Uh, John 6, 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. So, Jesus says not that you don't look for food. Now, if Jesus thought that food was not important, would he have fed them? No, right? He, he still fed them. But he says, don't just look for food. What is more important? Isaac, what is more important? What does Jesus want us to make as more important than food? Seek who? Seek him, right? Seek him. So, seek him first. Because he is God. He is God. So, don't seek for food that you eat, you will get hungry again. Seek for God that will save you and you have a life with Him. Okay? So that is the point. So Jesus knew the heart of man. In some occasions, He said don't because He knew it was going to impact His ministry. In other cases, He did say go tell men. He did want men to know. Now, when the case that He want men to know, now let us see what Jesus said um, to tell. Mark 5.18 Mark 5.18 Mark 5 18. Mark 5, 18. Okay, now what did Jesus say to this man when he said, go tell? Um, let's read from 18 to uh, 19. 1, 2, reading. And... Prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him but not, but said to him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee, and hath compassion on thee. So, in this case, Jesus was on the ship. The, this man who was just deli delivered by Jesus wanted to go on the ship and go with Jesus. Excuse me. And Jesus says, No, go home. You go home and tell your friends. Now, this time Jesus says, tell your friends what? Uh, Elim. Ah, Anna. Tell the friends what? Number one, tell them what the Lord has done for them. Number two, that he has compassion on him. Tell what the Lord has done for him. So, in those occasions, even when they go and tell, it is tell what? The Lord Jesus what the Lord Jesus has done for them. And that he had compassion. Okay, he loved, he loved them. What the Lord has done. What the Lord has done. The focus was always that people would tell others about him. And they seek him as their Lord. But the rest, they always want to just tell because they want more people to know and then they get free food together and it's all physical. But what the Lord Jesus wants them to know is when the Lord, the Lord has power to deliver them from the devil's possession. Okay? So those, those situations. So the Lord knew all men's heart. So sometimes like that, sometimes like this. Okay, answer your question. Any other question that follow up? What is the follow up question? So answer. I think so. I think so. Okay, what, what I have not answered, you can submit again. 
Alright? So this is the reason. The Lord Himself says, it began to affect my ministries. Now, but now the lesson is this. Um, wait. Matthew. Matthew. So when you want to believe in Jesus, why do you want to believe in Jesus? Is it so that Jesus will give you a lot of food? Help you in your exams? You believe in Jesus because He is? Jesus wanted them to believe Him because He is the Lord. He is God. You simply believe in Jesus because He is God. Not believe in God because you want God to bless you. Alright? So remember that. Who want to believe in Jesus only because Jesus will bless, bless you? I hope not. We believe in Jesus because we want to worship Him and serve Him. Okay? Elim, why do you want to believe in Jesus? So that you don't go to hell. You want to go to hell? No, also. So which one? You want to go to hell or don't want to go to hell? You don't want to go to hell. So why, you believe, why do you believe in Jesus? So that you don't go to hell. No. So why do you believe in Jesus? He's the Lord and so that it's here. <laughs> you need glasses. To worship Him and to serve Him. Okay? The Lord wants them to know who He is. Why does God want people to know who He is? That men will know Him, worship Him and serve Him rightly. Okay? Caleb, why do you not want to go to hell? Say again. You want to be spared. Why do you want to be spared? Because hell is a terrible place. Okay. Um, Noah, why do you not want to go to hell? Eternal suffering. Okay, eternal suffering. Shane, today we learn why did God save us? So that we don't go to eternal suffering in a terrible place. Why? Say again? So that we have the power to not sin. Why do you want to have the power to not sin? So we live rightly for Him. It's always for Him. Alright? So Elim, you do not want to go to hell. Caleb, you do not want to go to hell. Not simply to escape judgment. Yes, definitely it's a very major escape, okay? But you do not want to go to hell so that you can serve and live for this living God. Caleb, Ken, why do you not want to go to hell? So that we, will, we can serve and worship and live with this living God, alright? So it's not just because I don't like pain. I don't like pain. Who likes pain? No one likes pain, right? Now, if you believe in God simply to avoid pain, Alex, what will happen? Um, your, focus is on your focus on yourself, and when there's no pain, what happens? You can't be bothered with him, right? If you want to be safe, all right, Elim, pay attention. Huh? If you want to be safe from hell, simply to avoid pain, then what will happen? As long as there's no pain in my life, I don't really care about God, correct? Do you know now why? A lot of Christians, when exam times, very close to God. Hmm? When sick, the elderly, when sick, very close to God. When no money, very close to God. The moment not sick, not exam time, and have a lot of money, forget God. Why? Because we want God only to avoid pain. Understand that, okay? So young ones, remember, you want to believe in God because if you're not in hell, you're not going to hell, you can worship and serve Him forever and ever. Okay? Can? Alright? So Jesus wanted them to seek God for who He is, not for physical things. Are you seeking God for physical things? I hope not. I hope not. Okay. Alright, so I answered this question. That is why the Lord told sometimes told the people to tell sometimes not because he knew what man is seeking 
Okay, he knew what man is seeking. And he kept pointing man to the right thing. Now, okay. Do this. All right, now we answer another question. Um, now, this question is all right, Matthew, your question. Did Esau, did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? Did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? Who knows the story? And obviously, Matthew knows the story because he asked the question. Okay, who wants to tell the story? Isaac, you want to tell the story? No. Uh, wow, this cannot come up. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, Brenda, you want to tell the story? What's the story about Esau? Wait. About Isaac. So, Isaac, you don't want to tell your own story. Then there was Esau. And then there was Jacob, right? So, what's the story? They were twins. They were, alright, they were, they were birth twins, alright? They look very different. One was? One was hairy. Which one was hairy? Esau was a very hairy man, alright? Esau was a hairy man. Alright? Hairy. I don't know how to draw hair. Esau was a hairy man. Alright? Esau was hairy. Although they are twins. Must twins always look alike? Not necessarily, eh? So at birth, yeah, they both came out together, one after another. They were very different, so they were born at the same time. Alright, why do you want to talk about their birth? Who came out first? Huh? Who came out first? Noah. And then what happened? And then Jacob came out. Okay, ask the adult. Phyllis, who came out first? Esau came out first. What did Jacob do? Okay, you go back and find out. Huh? <laughs> all right. All we know, Jacob was a usurper. Right? Jacob will always want to be first in everything. Okay? Now, so these two. Now, so I, Matthew asked, did Esau still get a blessing from Jacob? Remember when Jacob was old? Then Jacob was going to bless the children. Huh? So Esau... Okay, Matthew, why don't you tell us the story? You don't remember? Okay, you want to tell us? Now, who was Jacob going, who was Isaac going to bless? He wanted to bless Esau. Right? But what, hap what did Rebekah and Jacob do? Right. So, I, so Isaac was going to bless Esau. And then Rebecca the mother, Rebecca the mother wanted Isaac to bless Jacob, okay? And then what did they do? Put the animal skin on Jacob. So Jacob skin although was smooth, when when Esau Esau was very old already, right? So he can't see already. When he touched, he touched wow. So 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 rough and so hairy. Yeah, so rough and hairy. So when 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 Isaac put his hand, <laughs> right? When Isaac put his hand on him, so like, oh okay, I think this is Esau because he remember Esau to be very hairy and hairy means rough skin, right? Also, so he blessed him instead. So now Matthew. So in the end, who got blessed? Jacob got blessed. All right. So Rebecca and Jacob tricked Esau, tricked Isaac into blessing Jacob. Now, so Matthew, Matthew feels very bad for Esau. So Matthew could not sleep at night. So, oh, this is so unfair. Did your sister do things like that to you? So unfair. No, my sister got the cake because she tricked daddy and mommy. I didn't get the cake. <laughs> All right, so he said, oh, so, so unfair. Esau, did Esau get the blessing? What do you think? Sing Yuan. He did get a blessing. Now, let us turn our Bibles. Okay, to Genesis chapter 27. Genesis chapter 27. 
Now there's a lesson to be learned also, huh? Genesis 27. So, okay, so Sing Yuan say he got the blessing. Sing Yun, the sister, did, did Esau get the blessing? Okay, I read, I read Isaac's question exactly to us. Huh? Did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? Did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? Right? Isaac, correct? Isaac hence writing was very clear. Did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? So Matthew's question is very specific. Huh? Still get the blessing from Isaac. Sing Yun, did he? Did he? He got a different one. He got a different blessing. So, a different. So, Sing Yuan say, Sing Yuan say, get God. Sing Yun say, a diff. Wait, wrong. That Isaac got a different blessing. How do we know? Let's turn. Let's turn uh, to Genesis 27. Let's read verse 28. Wait, um, Genesis 27. Okay, this is uh, wait, uh, let me read further first. Uh. Okay, actually let's read verse 34. Alright? 34 onwards. Okay, let's read 34 onwards. Let's read together. And, and when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, Bless me, even me, also, O oh my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtility, and he hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren I have given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass. When thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay? So, there was one blessing, and Esau did give. Alright? What happened to Isaac? What happened to Matthew? Okay, Matthew went... Oh, Matthew is there. Alright, Matthew. Alright, Matthew. So, what did we just read, Matthew? We just read that Isaac gave Esau a different blessing. He did get a blessing, but a different one. A different one. But what is so special about the blessing to Jacob? Right? What is so special? Jacob will be the line from which the Messiah would come. Okay? That was that very special blessing. Okay? But there was only one such blessing. It was given to Jacob. Jeremy, do you think that God was unfair? All right, like Matthew lost his cake to Gracia. All right, was God unfair? Now this this man, I am blind, blinded, so oh, okay. Now in fact, yeah, so oh, blind cannot see. Then make a mistake made a mistake and gave the blessing to Esau. And then this one cheated some more. So he got the blessing, the line from which the Messiah will come. Is it un was God unfair? You don't understand the question. Or you don't have to answer. Okay. 
Now it's at least at least people are honest. I don't know how to answer. Did you B repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, I don't know how to answer. That's it. Don't don't waste time. What do you think? Uh, CP. It's got unfair. Okay, first, CP is very smart. Say, God is infinite in His justice. God is infinite in His justice. So, very good answer. Whenever you read the Bible, say, hmm, seems not very fair. Huh? This guy cheated. This man was blind. And worst of all, you read. Alright? Now, you read Genesis 25, 23. Uh, not that. 25, 28. Sorry, 28. 28, let's read together. Genesis 25, 28, reading. And Isaac loved Esau because he did of his venison. You know why? You know why Jacob, Isaac, loved Esau? Because he liked what? He liked, he liked Esau's stew. You know his venison? What is venison? <laughs> deer's meat, right? Something like deer's meat. So Esau can cook very good stew. So the daddy says, Oh, I love your stew. So tasty. So the Bible says, Wow, this man, this man is, this man goes by, I like his food. And then old, want to bless him also because I like his food. And then got taken away. Hmm? So he's got. So first of all, CP used the principle thing. When you read the Bible, always use the principle who God is. So God is infinite in His justice. God never do anything unfair. So how? Um, Justin, how? How to answer? No, Justin, answer today. Uh, Natalie, you're going back already. You want to try? How? God is unfair. God is not unfair. We all know the answer. God is not unfair. But then how do you explain all these things? Do you like this to happen to you, Caleb? Yeah, daddy should have bought that thing for you. And then, no, no, actually it's the opposite. Cornelius is the older one, right? Daddy likes Cornelius cupcakes. Ah. I heard you're very good at making cakes. Your daddy likes Cornelius cupcake. Then, then Caleb tricked daddy out of giving him something. You like that happen to you? You don't like? You like that to happen to you, Caleb? Yes. <laughs> How do you explain all this? When you read the Bible, say, oh, okay, maybe the parents can answer. Is oh, Howard sent people back, is it? Is Howard here? No. Okay, Howard sent people back. Uh, Claude, do you treat your children like that? Or you only have one child. <laughs> Okay, one child. Uh, favoritism. So got favoritism. Favoritism. Also, oh, you say good ah, so you deserve it ah. Wow, favoritism ah, good. You deserve it. You don't get it. <laughs> How? <laughs> favoritism. Pay. Pay also one. Wait. Okay. Uh, how ah? Uh, um. Who has two kids? For Alex. <laughs> How? Sorry, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, is God unfair? Esau is the older one. Normally, in the Jewish family, the oldest one get the blessing, right? Then he didn't get the blessing. This one tricked and got the blessing. So God is not fair. Why did God let this happen? Then from them permanently, Jacob was the line from which the Messiah come. Is God unfair? God is always fair. So how do you explain all these things then? David, oh, Jacob went through a difficult life. <laughs> Jacob did go through a difficult life. Because of this, he had to run away. The brother wanted to kill him. So because of that, he went through a difficult life, but that's not my question. <laughs> also, say God, say fair, fair. Uh, now you suffer, suffer, <laughs> suffer for what you're doing. Well, it is true. Jacob did suffer. Jacob did suffer. 
Now remember all these facts, huh? because we, there are lessons to learn. Did Jacob suffer? Jacob suffered. Okay, hey, wait, Matthew. Matthew, because of what Jacob did, he tricked, his, tricked the father and he tricked the brother. Because of that, the brother wanted to kill him. Okay? And because of that, because he did all these dishonest things, he had to go on the run. He had to escape and live in a different country and they, he suffered. Okay? Got bullied by other people also. So did Jacob suffer for his, for his dishonest trickery? He did. He did. So you're right. God did um, chastise him. So if God chastised him, now listen carefully, yeah? Jennifer, if God chastised Jacob, does it mean that God actually wanted Esau to get the blessing? Ha! Huh? You steal the blessing from your brother, so I chastise you. Esau should have gotten the blessing. Do you think it's like that? No. Why? Very good answer, all right? So she spoke very softly. I'm sure the adults didn't hear. Mabel, why, why is it not the situation where God chastised Jacob because Esau should have gotten the blessing, so God chastised him because he tricked. Why is it not the case? Because you'll never read Genesis, all right? So this girl read Genesis, so she knows. Look at Genesis 25. Verse 23. Okay, how did you know that? Because you remember reading. So knowing the Bible is very important. Okay, 23, uh, chapter 25, verse 23, reading together. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. And the elder shall serve the younger. At that point, when Rebecca was carrying both of them, what did God say, Cornelius? The older one, the older one will serve the younger one, correct? The older one will serve the younger one. So the people of God will come from this line. Okay, will come from this line. It is God's plan already. Understand that? So when this thing happened, is it because Jacob was blind? Jacob was blind, huh? you can only feel that. But is it because of that? Isaac. Is it because Isaac was ah, too old, cannot see? Is it really because of that? No. God already intended that Jacob get the blessing. Alright, so Matthew, that blessing is special. And God already intended when they were in the stomach that Jacob will be the one that get that blessing. Okay, Matthew? Alright? God had another blessing. So, Matthew, when you answer still get the blessing, no, he did not get the blessing, that special one. But he did get other blessing. Okay, Matthew, Ken? Alright. Now, God already intended it to be Jacob. So, is it because he couldn't see? No. Is it because, listen carefully, uh, adults. Is it because Rebecca is so smart that their, their plan worked? Is it because of that? God already intended, understand that. When all this happened, God before the foundation of the world already intended it. God will overrule all these things. Whichever case, even his eyes were clear, big and clear. Huh? Even if he don't like venison, no matter what, even if they... Now, let me ask you. If Rebecca and Jacob did not do all this trick, Phoebe, if they did not do all this trick to deceive Isaac, would Jacob still end up getting the blessing? What do you think? We know that God wanted Jacob to get the blessing, correct? The younger one. So even if they, did, they didn't do all this trick to Isaac, in the end, would Jacob have been the one that will get the blessing? What do you think? Yes. Yes or no? Not sure. What do you think, Anna? What do you think? 
Jacob would still get. God is always in control. What God has willed for his people, it will happen. Okay, understand that. Now, what is the lesson for adults? Pay. What's the lesson for adults? Do we need to do... Now, remember this. Huh? Who knew that the older that the older will serve the younger. You look at verse Genesis 25, verse 23. The Lord said unto her, the Lord said unto her, the Lord told Rebecca. Miss Rebecca knew. Okay, so mothers and fathers listen carefully. Actually, children also listen carefully. Rebecca knew. He knew. She knew. That's why when she heard that the husband was going to bless Esau. He said, hey, 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 God already told me, you know. So she used her own energy, her own thinking, her own plan to make sure that the husband blessed Jacob. Because she knew what, right? Oh, yeah, I know my husband. Ah. Like the venison so much until ah, blind already. Oh yeah, he's old and also blind. He, he wants to bless Esau. But God told me that Jacob will be the one. So now I need to do something, right? Do you think that Rebecca needed to do that deceptive thing? What do you think? All right, ask mothers. Look, Grace. Do you think Rebecca needed to do all this? He said, I know what. I know God intended this. Oh yeah, now I need to help God, right? I need to help God because my husband is like that. Ah. I need to help God. Do you think she needed to help God? Definitely not. Do you think that even if she didn't go and put the animal skin on Jacob's back, somehow, somehow, in the end, Jacob will still be getting the blessing? Do you believe? It will. So the lesson that we learn from here, so Matthew, you asked a very good question. The lesson we learn here is when you know God has ordained something, when you know that is right, you should not manipulate situations as parents, as whatever. Trust in God to bring things to pass. Okay? Now, if God does not want a particular child to have something... Now, children, all listen. If God do not want you to have something, should you go and cheat and lie and do all sorts of tricks to get it? What do you think? Yes? No? No. God has already ordained. Now, don't be jealous of your friends. In school, my friend is so smart. In school, always get A. What I'll do is, I will go and do something so that my friend will not keep getting A's. Huh? Do all sorts of things. If God wants you to be something, you will be that. If God does not want, be content. Be content. Alright? Be content. Okay, so that is the lesson for young people. Actually, same for adults. God already built certain things in your life. You can go and study and be top student and everything. You will still fail in life if God wants you to be... God wants you to be a failure. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> if God wants you not to be very successful, you will not. Okay? If God wants you to be successful, you don't study also, you will become successful. Is it true? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is it true? True, huh? Vincent, is it true? Yes. <laughs> you heard the question or not? If God wants you to be successful, you don't study also, you become successful. There is human responsibility, alright? Alright, listen here. Huh? If God wants you to be successful, you have human responsibility. Alright, don't go back and tell my mommy that I think, I think I have this strong feeling. Huh? God wants me to be successful. No? So mommy, daddy, I'm not doing my homework anymore. Hmm? Don't think like that. You have responsibility. But in doing that responsibility, you don't do anything dishonest. Just do what is needed. Okay? God has ordained it. Do what is needed. So now ask fathers. Fathers, when you go to work, this is your boss, huh? when you go to work, you work very hard and be a very good employee. Why? Why? Wait, who's working? Uh... I saw the working people already. Uh, Claude, why? Why do you work very hard? Yeah, I asked Claude already. Uh, Colin, why do you work very hard and be very good at your workplace? Everyone will do it because promotion, right? 
Because of promotion, success. Why? To glorify God. To glorify God. Simply that. I simply do it because I'm a Christian. I want people to know that I am a Christian. I do, I work very hard. I work very well. Not for promotion. Because whether I'll be promoted or not depends on who? Mabel. God already ordained. It depends on God. Whether the younger will serve the elder, the elder will serve the younger is decided by God. Okay? So you work hard not to have people serve you. You work hard simply because you're supposed to do so as a Christian. Can I understand or not, Jennifer? Okay? So in school, why do you study hard? So that the teachers will like you. No. Why? To glorify God. So that people know, wow, well, Christians are hardworking, honest people. That's all. Nothing to do with wanting a promotion. Nothing to do with wanting teachers to like you. Simply because you're a Christian. That's it. That's it. Alright, so Jacob and mother need not have done all these things. God can still intervene. Do you believe that? You must believe that. If not, when you come out and work, you will secretly do dishonest things to get promoted. That's what they do. So now I ask the last question. Then we have to go down. Why, listen carefully, why did God chastise Jacob? Did God chastise Jacob because Jacob stole from Esau? Yes. Correct. Jacob was chastised not because he stole the blessing. The blessing was meant to be his. Jacob was chastised because he used trickery. He, he deceived, lied and all that. That is what he was chastised for. All right? So you don't need to do all these things. You do all these things, you end up being chastised, correct? Okay? Alright, so this is a, a good question. Thank you, Matthew, for submitting it. So I hope that we learned many things from it. Okay? Now let us pray.